Welcome back to The Sims 4 High School Years Rags to Riches. Man, was last episode rough. So to clarify what happened last time is we had a beautiful wedding planned in Solani. You know, we went over there, had a nice rental house. We stayed there for three days. And then I accidentally had my microphone muted for half the video and I had to redo it. So there was two weddings. The one you saw in the video last episode didn't really happen. Like it did, because obviously you saw it, but I didn't save that. What I had saved is what happened after the wedding. So the weird fever dream of a wedding where Reginald flirted with, I think, Brady Vittor, it looked like. And then Kevin got really angry at him. That didn't happen. That was all a dream. Having said that, I think Kevin's still pretty mad anyway. He's okay at the moment, but he was mad when we got back. So, you know, <laughs> it's neither here nor there. <laughs> Things can still go off the rails anytime. Now, Sunday, 9 p.m., we have $45,000. To be honest, I think it's time. We need to do something about this house. Um, I mean, do, I mean, I kind of like the aesthetic of the house, but I, we, we kind of, we kind of just need to gut it and make it bigger. First things first, I really want to get some stairs in this place instead of a ladder, because that is so annoying. Uh, you know what we're going to do? Let's actually flatten the lot. We originally built this based off an AI, what it told me to do. Uh, okay, that's not the best way to do it. Let me, let me not do it that way. And that was fun. That was a lot of fun. But now it's time, now that we've actually got money, let's maybe make something that uh, is more practical, shall we? It also does mean that we are no longer going to be a tiny home. We're just going to go to residential. It also means we can turn a lot of this stuff into proper rooms, which is nice. I'm just going to delete this little greenhousey thing we got at the back because it, it wasn't a proper room. It's kind of just placed there. Okay. So, I do like the facade, so it's not too bad, but we need to expand this place, at least at the back. I think we can make this come out at least a little bit. Let's go back here. Let's add a whole extension at the back, like this. Yes, that'll be good. I think that will still maintain aesthetic from the front. It means we can also extend up the top pretty much the same way. And I think I'm even just going to have it all like this, and then I might just add a little cutout just here, just to add a little bit of interest. Yeah, that's good. I'm happy with that. So this will come along to here. This roof can come further back. Actually, no, I'm gonna put the roof back there. I'm gonna duplicate the roof, get a bigger one here. Maybe, what if we take this up to cover that transition? Okay, this is, no, 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 this is getting out of hand quick. <laughs> I like the front facade, I don't wanna ruin it. Okay, cause we just got this weird little extra bit there. Why don't we just do this? That's easier. And we'll just get one of these puppies and then this will just be a shallow, shallow roof. I mean, that keeps the spirit of the build alive, which is nice, and then I just, Gives us a heck more space around the back. Look at this, beautiful. Okay, yeah, you can see the original little floor plan all smudged in there. You know, let's just maybe redo the whole upstairs, to be honest, like even this bed. I, I know we upgraded the bed. I don't really like it anyway, and I don't think you guys liked it, so that's fine. I like the plant though, of course, we'll keep that. Kevin made it for us. Keep that in my inventory too. Just gonna move all this stuff out of the way. All right, so let's get a couple of lights so we can see what's going on. Let's go downstairs now. So this is obviously going to change too, uh, for sure. So I don't know, I guess I kind of just need to put all this stuff in my inventory. It's kind of all just in the way is more the issue. I like the sort of thrifty nature and vibe of it, but we might look into upgrading some of the furniture. I mean, let's be real. <laughs> Keep all my awards and achievements, of course. And maybe the wallpapers we can change too. Might be nice. All right. Okay, so we're starting from a little bit more of a clean slate in here now. I don't know. I've just kept the fireplace there. I kind of like it. It might stay there. So let's just get a little, like a few little lights in here. All right, so downstairs layout. I mean, I think the stairs could probably go where we kind of originally had them. Maybe just there. So I've pushed them back a little bit. So that window is still there. Actually, I guess, does that even need to be there anymore? I mean, it doesn't have to be, but it's right. So the door comes in here. Now, we always had a bit of a weird thing with the front door where, okay, where, <laughs> let's get this bit of a step down. I wonder, should we just remove that element? Because we don't actually need that. That was just for the AI-ness of the build. So let's maybe just, let's just delete that and make it flat. So it's, just makes everything easier. So why don't we go the old timey route and have this as like a hallway? Because then we can have easily a little bathroom at the back of the hallway there. Then that kind of easily allows us to divide this space in two. Does mean we have an awkward door situation here. I might actually cut that in a bit more. It's like that. So we'll have a bathroom door here and then the, I guess, kitchen or whatever that will be would be there. It Look, it's still a small home. It's still cramped, but we're going to make it much more Instagram worthy, okay? Why are these separate rooms? What's going on here? There we go. So I like these floorboards. Now this says obviously not staying green. I just... That's just what I placed, so I'll change that. I quite like the blue, you know, we're kind of by the water, quite nice. Maybe the hallway 
Could be the darker blue, maybe lighter blue in there. I don't know, just a little bit of funsies. Can we use the new Desert Lux stuff at all? Does that make sense if we had like this door here? It's kind of fun, could be like a sliding in. It doesn't really look like an interior door though, does it, with the way it slides? Could be nice at the back, but, or even maybe between the rooms is potential. The only thing is this base kind of doesn't look like it'd be an interior door. I know it's not supposed to be like used as an interior door, but I will, I want it to. But I will not use it that way. I will do, do the large way there, kind of nice. I'm not really sure what style of home I'm going for, which is maybe a bit of a problem. I mean, it's definitely not supposed to be modern, so <laughs> I should probably avoid that. I mean, I still like all these windows and stuff. Like I think these all kind of still work. So why don't we just try and use some more of these around the place? Definitely feel like we should have some sort of back decking. Okay. I mean, I kind of like this. It's a little bit, you know, small town vibe, a little bit fun. Now this is a bathroom here, so I might do just the window on the side and not one directly onto the deck. Do you like that big cats and dogs window? Is that too big though, do you reckon? It's, it's a bit strange because it's like right on the edge, so maybe not. Maybe, oh, this one, yeah, actually that works better. Well, like that, and then if I just maybe move the door over a little bit too, so it's more like this, it's kind of in the center of this section. Yeah, that's all right. And then what happened to my columns? I did used to have columns, I think, on this bit, did I? Or did I not? I don't know, but I have them now. Oh yeah, I kind of forgot this roof. A little dodgy there, but it's okay. I just do some on this bit too. Uh, mat, whoops, match it up with the rest. Okay, that's, Good. Now this wall, obviously I want to put something on it. I think my planter that I just put away, uh, the only problem with that is obviously this is not under cover anymore. So I might put like a roof over this section, just like a very little one. So it's under cover. So it's not technically a greenhouse, but, and then if I get like these kind of things, it kind of looks like it has a bit more support. What do we reckon? Look, this is still by no means like a masterpiece of a house, but you know, I think it's a bit of fun. I also feel like this is maybe a bit small. I need a bit more space. Yeah, that's a bit better. All right, so we got, you know, this will be living and kitchen, that's fine. Upstairs, let's go for, so the stairs come up here, that's fine. I guess that could be another bathroom though, just directly above the other one. I mean, that's easy. And then this can easily be another room. Maybe that can be the gym for the moment. And then we just have a bigger room here, like a big bedroom. So that could do for now. And then obviously as we need to change it later on, for baby, which actually I feel like we might, we might even adopt today to be honest, which is I think pretty exciting, but that means I probably should plan ahead for that. So is this even enough space? Do I need more room? Or can we just divide this a bit more? Maybe we should do like a shit, like a separate shed for the gym or something. Yeah, actually maybe that's a good idea. We can have like a, a garage or it'll be like a garden shed or something and that will be our home gym. I'm gonna move the whole lot over so I can have a lot more space. There we go. Because it was just wasting a lot of space. Then we can build like a separate structure over here. Oh yeah, make it look like a garage door. I really wish these were just actual doors. I mean, I'll just use, because I guess it's gonna be like a shed more than a garage. Because obviously there's no cars. I'll use like this door. Pretty big though, isn't it? Well, we are in a small lot. I did, I did discuss moving at some point, but all right. Bill surcharge, nope. Eco footprint industrial, that's fine. I feel like this doesn't really look. Now, I guess my, my question is, is this something that they built after moving in or is the idea that it already existed? I feel like it's something they built because obviously we're renovating the entire house. So maybe you know, playing through the story that they just built this place. So maybe this door doesn't make sense then if it's not like a garden shed. I guess we're playing it from the perspective of them renovating their house. And they're like, yeah, we're gonna build a gym. Okay, maybe we even have sliding bifold doors. That'd be, oh, that'd be pretty sweet. Actually, yeah, let's do this, hang on. One, two, we're gonna put the same height as the house and just join it up to this decking. Yeah, this will be pretty sweet. It's gonna be part of this area. And I kind of feel like this should be like a wall. I would say like a gate or something, but I kind of want it to be separate from the house. Hang on, that doesn't make any sense. I would say like a gate or something, but it, the, the gates just don't look good. And half walls I would use, but you know. We know the issues with half walls. But yeah, I want a nice substantial privacy divider, aka a wall. I don't know what door to put there. Maybe just that. And then obviously we'll have some stairs there in a second. All right, so this structure should definitely be built out of something different than the house because it was new. I guess because we're just in the town, it should just be like some, uh, like this little small town area. It should be like a siding kind of thing. I think those blues aren't blue enough. It looks, it looks green in the lighting, you know? Is the green too green? Oops. I feel like that doesn't really suit it. Why, what What blue does little Sims use? None of these blues are blue enough. It needs to be like that blue. That's the kind of blue I want. 
It's like the only one. I think it's just the lighting in this world, to be honest. It makes it look really green. So it like kind of sucks the color out of it. So we'll just do that, that's fine. Okay, and then this little wall in between should just be like a, a wooden, you know, it should kind of just look like a fence, to be honest. That one there, you know, I'm not feeling this deck anymore. I feel like it should look more like a deck, sort of like pristine white looking flooring. Maybe like that color instead. That's good. Okay, so we've got this outdoor space. This is our home gym, which we're gonna use the new door on. Heck yeah. We'll use these windows. There's a couple at the end, and I think I'll leave the sides because it's kind of like a public footpath, but like this way you kind of, well, I guess that's a footpath there too, but you know, you're looking out onto the creek is quite nice. I kind of like this flooring for the gym. I don't know why, but I do. <laughs> and like this wood paneling. I don't, I don't know why I, mean, I like this. You know, this is a newer extension of the home. So like, you know, they're, they're not building it to look like the rest of the house, for example. All right, so the fitness stuff that we already have, we've got this, now has a place. You know, put on a little bit of an angle, make it fun. Um, we've got the cheer mat as well. That can maybe go over here. I might do some mirrors and stuff on the wall. We did have a yoga mat. I think I might have deleted that when I was just moving stuff around. Obviously, we've got the boxing or the punching bag, not the boxing bag. I think that should all sort of work in that area. I need yoga, which, you know, I might actually put that outside if it doesn't fit in here. Because I want to have also a treadmill. Kind of want it facing out the window, but it kind of makes this not really work there. Maybe this can go over here. You know, have a little run while looking out the window is quite nice. I like yoga in the middle of this room. Maybe this should be by the window. Hang on. You know, doing yoga by the window would be good. Probably not while someone's running on the treadmill, but they're not running on the treadmill. It would be pretty nice. Obviously, we'll test to make sure all this stuff works. It's kind of just, I don't know, that, that seems too close to me. Maybe put that there. Like if you come off the back of the treadmill, you just whack into the punching bag. Maybe there. I mean, that's all right. All right, so along that wall is going to be mirrors. I might do like one mirror there. I don't really want to, I don't want to do mirrors all around because that'd be too much. But I think that's good. You know, it's pretty simple. Whoops. Pretty simple little gym. They'll love it. Okay, the rest of this place. Now, I've got all this furniture. I guess we'll keep some of it. It'd be a shame to waste it all. So I think I might do... So the door is there, which is actually kind of annoying. Because <laughs> that means I can't use this whole wall for the kitchen. Uh, I mean, we could put it there, but then we still have the same problem with these two doors being on the same tile. It's just kind of not very nice. It does make more sense, though, is the problem. Or we get rid of the door and have this sort of larger archway. I think that leaves enough room because we could probably put the fridge there. So it's not as thin as a single door. So it's slightly wider, but that means we could probably have a fridge there. Yeah, and it doesn't overlap. And then we can have the counter next to that. Oh, actually, can the, ca can the counters just go there? Oh, yeah, that works. Might put the fridge. I kind of want to put the fridge here. Now this, is, again, by no means is the final uh, design of the house, especially because it would be nice probably to have this space all open through. But I feel like we're not at that stage in our life yet, you know. I don't want to rush things here. Still feel like we'd maybe have light fixtures kind of like this, you know. Not the fanciest, but it's not the worst or anything. Over here, I kind of want that to be like a coffee machine area. I don't know if we'll use the coffee machine, but I kind of feel like that's a nice little coffee station, you know. It's a little bit of fun. Get a little bin over there. And then we have plenty of room for a dining table, which is nice. Before we're using this. Maybe now that we, uh, you know, let's get some new chairs to at least maybe look like it goes with the space a bit better. Space doesn't really work. Like, it, it's kind of weird. Okay, I think this just makes a lot more sense. I did, I did a smaller table in the corner. The kitchen's over this side, the fridge is over there. I still quite like that. Uh, and then we have, uh, you know, I'll move that a little bit further down. These two archways. So, you know, this whole living space is kind of open, but not quite, you know, so... I don't know, I kind of like that. I don't know if I'll always leave it like that. I think I'm gonna change this to archway too. It kind of looks yellow, it's not, it is white, but I'm actually changing it just to this one because we don't have those like sort of wall details anywhere else. So I'm just gonna use this more plain looking one. Again, it still looks yellow, but it, it's not. I don't know why it's doing that. Actually, maybe it's because of this. Oh yeah, it's the light from the fireplace, okay. That's fine. All right, you know, kitchen, pretty simple. It's still very similar to what it was before, but it's just sort of moved a bit. Um, the living space, let's see. Well, the fireplace doesn't have to stay there. I might need to move that, but this is kind of like a nice little craft office space over here now. So I might put that over there. Now, everyone always wanted to see our little diploma shots along the stairs. Now, how high does it need to be? It's kind of hard to tell. I think it needs to be like almost there when a sim is standing. I think we need to do a different wall along here. Like, that doesn't have a trim. We'll just do a, we'll just do a boring white wall. There you go, just with the stairs. Okay, 
So that's there, and then, uh, I mean, the diplomas maybe should be by the desk. For some reason we have two of these. Not sure why, but whatever. Again, I, don't, I also don't know why, I just cannot get this one to go on the wall. So this one, I don't know what to do with it. That's his high school one. Um, but I don't know how to move that anywhere else. Oh, you know what I wanted to actually add? With these things. Yeah. Let's give it some cozy, you know? Oh. I'm not really gonna work with the doors though, is it? Hmm. <laughs> put it here. On, we can put it on this wall though. In like the office area. That's kind of nice. I kind of like this as like a darker color. Maybe it's a little cozy in there, you know? All right, man, we need to do a different couch and stuff now. Um, okay, so do we want to go... Well, I don't know if we can fit a bigger couch, can we? As I say, do we want to do a bigger couch? So if that's where the chimney is, it doesn't mean that's where the couch has to go, but kind of like it's kind of an awkward space. Like this whole room is really not a great living space. Like this could go here and then have a TV there or something, but then it's kind of like, well, what is this area? <laughs> you know, it's just a random fireplace back there. We have a bigger couch in this little area. We do need a rocking chair though for um for Kevin to do his knitting. <laughs> We just put it outside, everyone without like a cushion out on the deck. Yeah, then he can come out here and do his knitting. <laughs> we'll do some more stuff outside too. Okay, maybe we just have a really cozy seating area. Now that used to be concrete under there, right? And then I, oh, I guess it would have to be this whole area. It's all wood now. Probably not ideal. Why don't we do it like this? Oops, concrete and then a little diagonal. Now we did have the TV in the corner. Should, maybe I should just go back to that. We don't really use it that often. Yeah, all right, let me just go back to that because I guess that kind of has to wait till we do a bigger renovation. Had like this in the corner here, didn't we? Maybe we still get the bigger couch, but you know. Okay, that TV is, maybe we should get a different one. <laughs> you would not be able to see that from over here. I mean, you can, but not great. Okay, I just played around with this for a little while. I mean, I think it's all right. It's definitely not perfect. But um, I think it's looking pretty good. It's nice and cozy. You know, got these nice couches in here. A little bit more seating space. The TV's actually rotated. Bookcase is over there now, so that's no longer a bookcase as well. We don't have a radio, but I don't mind that because that was getting really annoying when they keep switching it on. Uh, we've also got two of these decorative plates for some reason. I don't know why we have two. <laughs> I don't really want even one of them to be honest. Yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of them. Uh, we got a few collectibles that I'm just keeping in here for now. So I'll just keep those around. And a big rug for some reason, which I'll just get rid of. All right, cool. So that's kind of that area. You know, that's a basic downstairs area. Obviously, we've got to do the bathroom. So let's just go through and do that real quick. There you go. Nothing too special. You just the basics. Maybe we should change the floor though. <laughs> Maybe to a tile. Just like uh, blue. I don't normally do blue tiles in bathrooms, but you know what? I'm going to do it for this house. Okay. That's all right. All right, upstairs, blue tile bathroom. You know what? I'll just quickly do the same thing in the bathroom. I'm doing the paneling in it. It's nothing too special. Uh, we do need a bathtub though, if we're gonna have a baby and they become a toddler. So I'll make sure to get that in. Okay, just like that. Pretty much the same stuff, but the, the tub and stuff over there. All righty, upstairs. You know, I don't hate <laughs> that wall paneling, but it doesn't go with the floors is kind of the problem. So I guess maybe let's just modernize it. So this is gonna be a baby's room essentially. So why don't we do a nice flowery wallpaper? Aww. <laughs> I don't know if I like that, but I'm just gonna do that for now. That's fine. And then the bedroom, I quite like the dark sort of mauvey color. I use that down here. I actually kind of like that. So I might use that up here too. So this is just the main bedroom. We'll get a door there, door for that one just here. Uh, these lights are kind of randomly placed at the moment. So I might just move those. All right, so what do we have left over? We've got a few bits of junk, so I'm gonna ignore those. <laughs> okay, so let's get a nice bed. <laughs> No, we'll get a really good bed, but then we'll even upgrade it so it's even better. So maybe, I just don't like the look of this bed as a problem. It's a really good one and so are these, but it's just, it's a bit much. I always really like this bed because, I mean, it kind of looks like our bed in real life with the wood around it. It's really nice. I don't know if I want it between those windows though. Maybe over here is better. Actually, speaking of which, that's a balcony. So hang on, over here is probably better. I should probably should have some windows or doors on it or something. Can we do a sliding door? And does that look bad or is that okay, do you reckon? I mean, it's maybe okay. I don't know if it goes the best, but we could extend the roof out and then maybe do like a column. It looks more like a undercut. Oh, <laughs> hang on, back a little bit. There we go. It looks more like a little undercover area. Might just extend it so it sticks up a bit. I mean, there's not really any room to do anything there. We could extend it if I wanted to, but I think for now I'll just leave it like that. Yeah, we'll just keep it simple for now. It looks nice from the inside anyway. All right, the bed, you know what? The blue default is actually not bad with the wood and the walls. What's the most expensive rug I can buy? There's only $900. <laughs> I, just want, I want to like, I want to pretend that we're rich now and spend all our money. Yeah, that, <laughs> that rug really doesn't work. Gotta just use this 
sort of rug there, nice and simple. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna move that down here. Here we go. That's where this can go. <laughs> Scale it down a bit. He's really proud of it, okay? It's gonna go by the bed. Hmm. I feel like, so I also just changed this bedside table, let's put a little thing up. I feel like, uh, cause Reginald is so, well, he was built on like thrifting. You know, we actually own a thrift store. We should have a lot of wardrobe space, but I don't really have space for that. <laughs> and the window's kind of getting in the way. Maybe we can do this one. That's kind of weird, it's on wheels though. Like I want it to look like we have lots of hanging space. We need a bigger house with a walk-in wardrobe. That's what we need. But I don't really want to just expose clothes on display in this whole place, because I think that won't look very nice. Maybe we can just get a few of these, because they're quite slim line. Kind of in the way though. What else do we need? So I've just put those two there. I feel like I want to leave space to add something else in. Maybe I'll even just leave that empty for now before we have the, the baby and then sort of go from there. Like I feel like I need to play a bit more to figure out what we need to add. We just finished up this little area. Now, these are much more colorful when it isn't winter, so I don't know what this is really gonna look like, but I'm just gonna do that for now. We'll come back to it. We're gonna do more renovations, obviously, on this build as we go, and on this lot in general, so. Do we have any of these pines? Or no, it's all pretty big, isn't it? I think we have some of these, yeah. I'm just gonna make this smaller. I just wanna cover that bit, <laughs> just a little bit anyway. Okay, then maybe, oh, hot tub. They oh my gosh, can we get this? <laughs> get a whole onsen? Uh, when they went on vacation, they loved the hot tub, so I feel like they would have bought their own one. Okay, that's pretty big. I'm gonna have to make this bigger. <laughs> it's a bit random out here at the moment, but I kind of I, I kind of like it. I feel like we already need a bigger lot. <laughs> this rocking chair is kind of awkward next to the hot tub. Maybe I'll put it over here. Move the hot tub over this way a bit. Ooh, we can use a new barbecue. Heck yeah. Let's get this here. Oh, no, hang on. You know what? This hot tub really is making things more complicated. But there. I like the hot tub, but I need to fit it in with everything else. Get that there. We need, the, the rocking chair has to be out here. It's important. Part of the law. Okay, barbecue there, that's fine. I might even just move this outdoor bin back here, just so we have it. It's easy to access with the barbecue and all that. Also makes the front look a little bit neater. And I kind of want a little outdoor table too. I don't have any of this, this doesn't really go. It's kind of weird. <laughs> My out, the outside is looking very strange. I think it's because it's really bland, maybe. Maybe I need to change this deck back to like a brown. Why is it so dark? It's like the middle of the day. <laughs> I feel like this wood shouldn't be that dark. Okay, I'm just gonna place some pot plants around the place. So it looks like there's more going on out here because it's just, yeah, it's very gray, I think. Very bland without these little bits of color. I'm just gonna add those in. That's a bit better. You know, it looks a little bit more lively now. Okay, ooh, awning. We could do the new awning. <laughs> I don't think it fits. Like it's not really in the style of the house. It's cool. We're just like an awning maybe. No, no awning. All right, let's just do that. Let's go to nighttime real quick. Cause it might, oh actually it's not too dark cause we've got the lights from inside. Okay, that's good. Wow, that took me way longer than I thought it did, was going to. <laughs> so that is our renovation. Uh, hit save. All right, with that, let's actually play the game. <laughs> Okie dokie. So what, what's actually coming up here? You got work in 10 hours. You have work in 11 hours, fair enough. So we gotta go to, we gotta go to work. You're kind of hungry. Do we have any food in the fridge? We do, cool. You're also kind of hungry. So let's go get some dinner. Okay, can we stop talking with each other? It's dinner time. Come on lads. Ew, stinking pile of leaves. Look at this house, it's beautiful. Oh, you got snaked, dude. Oh my God, these two are so dang ripped. It's, it's kind of ridiculous to be honest. I don't know how, I don't know how he could maintain that with the high powered like business career he also has at the same time. Kind of, it's kind of wild. So, hey, <laughs> why are you thinking like that? Like, did you ever think about uh, kids? Can I ask you if you want kids? Um, tell wedding story, no. Congratulate on marriage, that's nice. So you want to adopt? Ask to be flower pal at wedding, uh oh, uh oh, hang on. No, we're married, why do we still have a wedding coming up? Oh no, what's happened? We're married, right? <laughs> Spouse, yeah, we're married. So why do I still have the wedding stuff appearing? <laughs> All right, we need to auto light some stuff. I know I normally don't do auto lights, but now which ones don't, I don't want the living room to be auto light. Auto light, and on this room. I don't want the kitchen to be auto light. Uh, the rest can be though, because you know, that's fine. All right, now you, you need a knit in a rocking chair, which we can finally do. It's a little cold, but you know, you'll be fine. Change outfit, uh, cold weather wear, please. And then we're gonna go knit, resume, that nah, epic. What about you? What are you gonna do? Nothing. Kind of need a shower. Actually, you know what you do need to do? You need to upgrade all of my appliances I just bought. <laughs> uh, excuse me, why did you stop? Did you finish? Oh, you did it though. I need to start knitting products while inspired. So let me just quickly stargaze. Oh my gosh, look at this hot tub. We can totally use that hot tub every single day. That's what anyone who ever buys a hot tub says. They're like, yes, 
We're gonna use this all the time. Right, let's knit an object. Oh, Nick. Oh my gosh. What level do we have to be to knit baby's clothes? Because that's when we should adopt a baby and not before. Hey, next level. Knit while listening to music. Oh, dang it. So I knit an object on Plopsy. Oh, that's a whole thing. Oh my gosh, what happened? Ew! Reginald, what did you do in the toilet? Yuck! Have a mud fight? No, why is there mud in my bathroom? How did that even get in there? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> no, you gotta keep doing the upgrades. And now you. Man, they're really obsessed with the cheerleading. I might need to get rid of that. <laughs> That cheer mat. Level five. Yeah, I need the ultimate gift. Sweater. Sweet. You know, I probably should have got Reginald to upgrade the bed right away because that's actually what we need to upgrade. All right, Kev, you can go to the toilet upstairs. Oh my gosh, this is so much nicer having all this space. Just having stairs. Stairs, guys. Breakthrough. Yeah, I quite like the bedroom. I mean, it's a little bit empty, but I think we'll add some stuff as we go, which would be nice. No, stop trying to knit. Uh, not knit. Cheer. What do you want to do? You want to earn money? Well, we need to have children too. <laughs> the thing I need to do as well. Kev, you can go down to the gym if you want, because I need to finish upgrading the bit. Oh, need four common upgrade parts. All right, there we go. Just ordered some more parts. We should be able to do the upgrade. Let's just get that done, and then we can go both go to bed. How's Kev down doing in the gym? Yeah, you know what? I kind of like a little gym addition. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's a nice little view out the back, isn't it? Beautiful. All right, Kevin, by the time you get up here, the bed should be ready. Uh, Reginald just needs to take a shower. Right side of the bed can be Kevin's because Reginald's got his own picture on that side, so yeah. All right, let's go to sleep because we got work soon, but this bed should probably boost our needs pretty quick. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. All right, work for Kevin in about an hour, which he should be feeling pretty good. Yeah, he's in a pretty great mood. Um, he doesn't even really need to do anything. You want to just get in for a quick morning, <laughs> quick morning tubbing? Just hop in. Yeah, now that's how you start your day. Oh, do you want to clean up the kitchen? Oh, wait. Are you doing? Oh, he's already doing it. I didn't even have to tell him. Look at that. Okay. Well, <laughs> you just put it there instead. That's fine. Um, okay, so he's done everything we need to do for work. So I'm going to make sure you're working hard today because we might be able to get you promoted. Should be nice. You got work soon. You're still sad because I guess your high school teacher died. Oh, he's going to make coffee. Amazing. That's why I put it there. Oh, that's my favorite thing in the morning is waking up, making some fresh coffee. It's so good. It's like the best thing. Okay, he's literally going to put that down, take one sip and then leave. Watch this. One sip, and he's like, yep, that'll do. Gotta go to work. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Check that out. So what do I need for this one? I need to have, oh, we have the 50,000 in reserve. Dang it. All right, well, let's fast forward time here a little bit. There's a heavy thing. Should Kevin try to lift it? Yeah, he's super ripped. Performance game. Yeah. Uh oh, <laughs> our bills have gone up a lot. 1,900, that's fine though. We'd make plenty of money, so no good. I mean, no good, no problem. Um. Royalty report 1180. Speaking invitation. Reginald has been asked to be the keynote speaker. Yup, let's do it. Oh, wait, what did that say? Performance gain medium. Yeah. Come on, give me that sweet raise. Yes, we're going to get a raise today. Kevin, I would like you to get promoted. Why are you sad now? Why, why are we all sad? Unfulfilled dreams. Oh. <laughs> Maybe you guys need to live out your dreams vicariously through an adopted child. Maybe that'd be nice. You know what? I'm pretty happy with this little house. I think it'd come along quite nice. The side is a little rough, but... You know, it serves our needs. It's a let's play house, you know? I'm still not promoted. Man, this job takes forever to get promoted in. We're only level five. All right, well, you need to like chill a little bit. So let's maybe go do some yoga. I'll make you feel, okay, no, he's angry now. What did I, didn't I just say do yoga and you just got super duper angry instead? I feel like this does, how does this not help at all? <sighs> These two fears are always there. They never go away. I've just kind of, I just kind of ignore them with Reginald. I apparently have a fear of the dark now for some reason. Got a raise though, $7,032. We now make a grand total of $8.99 an hour. That's pretty dang good. Uh, well, I'm sad and <laughs> you're really mad. So what is this dark? What do I have to do with this? Sick and tired of letting the possibility of monsters keep him from going out at night. What? Gain the confident mood while you see him is outside in the dark. Okay. God, you guys are oh, strange. Let's have some boys gym time maybe. Maybe that'll make you feel better. Wait, can you mentor me now for your top level? I can teach you to knit. No, no option. Oh yeah, look at us in our little gym. Isn't that nice? Yeah! All right. Kevin actually needs to go. Let's go take care of his knee. Is this puddle going to go away? Or is this just, does this just live in my house now? <laughs> uh oh. You're feeling sick, are you? He was dizzy, but now he seems fine. Well, Who's calling? Hello? Uh, no, I don't want to go to the human hijinks festival. I'm busy. Oh no, Kevin, he's angry again. Oh no, he's back. <laughs> oh my gosh, is today rebate day? Why couldn't it have been yesterday when I did the whole house renovation? That is, unless, did I do it after midnight? That would have been good. I don't think so though. Romance. We gotta, we gotta butter up Reginald. Well, actually it's the other way around. Gotta butter up Kevin. 
Because I want to pop the question. I kind of wish it was an option to be like, hey, do you want to have kids, you know? Maybe try out the shower, see how that works. See if the plumbing's up to scratch. Okay, I don't think it worked, right? Oh, it did. We're just going in this shower, okay. I mean, I guess there's more room. That makes sense. Anyway, now I've got to go outside while I'm confident tonight too. So, uh, Kev, what do you think about adopting? He's like, I'm going to bed, whatever. Yeah, he said yes. Let's go. All right, well, first up, before we do that, let me, uh, uh, Brush teeth, that's what I want to do. Okay, the problem is I'm very, no, 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 don't work out. I'm very energized now, more than confident. Maybe I'll psych myself up. Oh my gosh, why are you so dizzy? You don't even have a, oh wait, you do now. <laughs> okay, you didn't before. Okay, very confident, here we go. Go outside, go outside, go outside. Go, 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 go. Yeah, I'm not afraid of the dark. All right, now let's order some medicine from Amazon. Oh yeah, I gotta pay the bills, let me do that first. Actually, let's get the medicine from, from Craigslist. That'll be trustworthy. <laughs> Don't take medicine. No, stop going to cheer all the time. I know you miss cheering, but okay, we've had the medicine. We're good. Um, it's 10 p.m. Can we adopt a kid at 10 p.m.? Is that something I can do? It's time. I want to have my own children. The one time I don't actually have the, the want for it either. Household. Adopt. <gasps> we need a cat too, because we need to compete with Reginald. <laughs> it's like, well, you got a cat and a dog? Well, <laughs> we got a baby. It's like, yeah, we already had a baby. I still haven't actually checked if it is actually Red, no, uh, Sydney and Ava's baby. All right, who we got? Well, I want to go baby. Do I? Or do we just go straight to toddler? Or I could be like, I've got a child. <laughs> You've only got a baby. <laughs> oh, I like Addison. That's a cute name. Let's adopt Addison. I'm just going to casually go off at 10.30 p.m. on a Monday to adopt a baby. Okay, the process is a little long. Good thing they're open this late. <laughs> Yay, bringing him a new family member. Let's go. Addison? Addison Big Wallet. Aww. Oh, I'm a legacy player. Look at me go. <laughs> can now take family leave. Kevin can take family leave. Cool. So, wait, where is that? Addison? Oh, you're over here. Okay. Yeah! So is that... How did that work? Let me have a look at this family tree. Okay, yeah. So you... The adoptive parents... Wait, what? Hang on. Addison? Oh, it's a son! I just assumed Addison was a, a girl's name, but you know what? That's fine. Addison can be whoever they want to be. Oh, it's a unisex name. You know what? I didn't know that. I've never met... Well, actually, I've never met an Addison either way. So, there you go. Aww. Oh my gosh, my bicep is so big, it's... <laughs> I can't hold my own baby because my bicep is too big. Okay, it's time we stop the bodybuilding now that I'm a father. <laughs> My arms are too big to hold my own child. Look, all my arms are too big. <laughs> all right, Kevin, you also need to get really good at knitting so you can knit a, a baby onesie. That'd be epic. Aww. I like how Kev's still asleep. He's like, yeah, whatever. You, yeah, you can do whatever you want. All right, bottle feed. There you go. There you go, little one. Welcome to the new generation. Now, the question is, how many kids do we want to have? I think we should at least have two kids. Maybe three. Three might be too much because I'm planning on... So Addison... We'll have a family of their own and then they'll grow up in this let's play as well or maybe the next let's play you know but you know that's what we're planning to do depending on how it all lines up with stuff so maybe just two kids this generation and then the next one we could have more i don't know we'll see how we go good job addison all right i'm hitting the hay good night <laughs> i'm gonna keep addison in our room now until they're a toddler then we'll put them in their own room what how are you crying again? Oh. All right, Kevin, it's your turn to meet your child. <laughs> oh yeah, parenting level one, let's go. There you go, I'll rock you to sleep. There you go, little laddie. Sleeping. Okay, Addison, you can sleep. Sleep. There you go. <laughs> all right, how am I going? Needs are all pretty good. Kevin's actually, Kevin's actually fine. Why are you even sleeping? <laughs> go to the toilet. Might as well take a shower, you know, do all the stuff. Clean out the coffee machine, get some left up. You know what? We're out of food. Clean out spoiled food. You know what? You could serve breakfast for once. How about that? Make four serves of eggs and toast. There you go. All right. Reginald, I want you to, we need to keep going through and upgrading everything because we just need everything to be better. I just need a bunch of common upgrade parts. I think I got enough plumbing maybe, but can't hurt to buy more. Upgrading items is literally one of the best things that is so easy to forget about in the game. Like it makes all the items so much better. So I'm just gonna get a bunch of everything. I don't know how much we're actually gonna use any of this stuff, but I'm gonna spend a lot on it. I get more common. Common is used in everything. So got a huge batch of items. Now, do babies age up with aging turned off or I just have to do it myself. I guess I have to do it myself because none of the other babies in the world are aging up, are they? So we just have to remember, so we, we adopted the baby on Monday. So I guess like Thursday we can age up. Let's just go with that. All right, the baby is awake. Hey Addison, how you doing little buddy? Now, Kevin, um, why did you put the food on the sink? He's really not a good cook, is he? <laughs> he only just got to level three. You know, he's trying, so there's that. All right, clean that up, please. And then I need you to do some more knitting. 
Net while listening to music. Oh no, I need to get a radio out. Where's that, that prom gramophone? Here we go. The gramophone we won at prom one year for some reason. You need to go sit. Well, knit, knit clothing. Oh, I can't make baby onesies yet. Let's do a blue men's sweater. And we're gonna listen to, <laughs> I can only listen to prom night, change station. Wait, this only plays prom night? What is the, why did the, the school gave me this and it only came with one like record? <laughs> All right, listen to prom night, there you go. How you going up here, buddy? You good? Addison's probably gonna poo their pants soon because I just fed them. So I'll watch. It's kind of sad just in like a dark room by yourself, but you know. Okay, how do I knit while listening? Because I've got like listen to, but it's not it. Let me say listen to first, maybe. I don't want to knit right now. What do you mean I don't want to knit right now? That's all I want to do. What are you talking about? Dude, what do you mean? What? Is it? Wait, if I stop, stop, hang on, stop. Are you really? Why don't you want to knit? What's wrong with you? What the heck? Dude, you suck. <laughs> well, I need, I just need to get your knitting skill up too, but you're just making it really difficult for me. Ah, oh dear. All right, this downstairs shower is pretty good. We just don't have the water recycler. You can reduce water usage, which is fine. Oh, that, <laughs> how do I get rid of this mud? What if I say play in? Maybe that'll get rid of it. <laughs> did, that, did that work? Nope. I don't know. That's just in my house forever. Oh, I gotta go to work. <laughs> it's just work time. Okay, he's doing yoga. Does that make you want to knit? <sighs> what do you want to do? Oh, there we go. Now I can knit. Okay, hang on. Listen. Go listen to prom night. How's the baby? Baby's okay? Relive your prom night dreams. Oh, you're sick as well, are you? He's thinking about medicine. Okay, resume knitting while listening. Yeah, there we go. That was tough. <laughs> that was way tougher than it should have been. Oh, baby's crying. Abort, abort, abort. Dirty diaper, rock and cuddle and maybe talk to your child so they actually know who you are. There we are. Oh, isn't this a nice place to live? Look at, look at that. This is beautiful. Maybe we should go. Well, we can't really go anywhere until the <laughs> baby grows up. Book royalties, very nice. Okay, baby's feeling good. Ah, oh, I became good friends with Addison. Let's go. Now, do I have any knitted projects in here? I do. Let's sell this. List on Plopsy for five bucks. Mostly these. I just need to sell one thing at least. Oh, and this. There you go. Someone will buy one of those. Did you just sneeze on the baby? <laughs> he just like sneezed at the baby. Right, I need a, I need to go on Craigslist and get some medicine from old old Bob out the back of the, the thrift store. There we go. I think that, there you go. That's better. Okay, so knitting. Well, I need to keep getting my knitting skill up. So I think like level seven is maybe baby onesies and I think I'm five, right? What's this? But Addison's awake. I should probably go see Addison in a minute. I just want to try and finish the sweat up. Did I finish? Oh, I did. Sweet. Hey, Addison. Good morning. <laughs> hey, parenting level three. Sweet. Heaven, do you wish to look as happy as I do? Donate one simoleon. Yeah, I do. I feel like Kevin's the kind of guy that would donate a simoleon for that. All right, let's go knit. Let's keep finishing my knitting projects. Level six, I can knit poofs, but uh, I want a baby onesie. Uh oh, Addison needs me. I mean, I suppose I could probably just knit in this room if I put a chair in here. <laughs> Why don't I get the rocking chair in here? That'll be nice. We can knit with the baby. Reginald's home is $7,192. Not too shabby. I might change his aspiration to family now that we have a baby. <laughs> Spend $1,000 on kid stuff. Okay, well, we'll do that soon, not right now. Your job, Reginald, is to do the upgrades. He just comes home from a big work day and he just starts upgrading everything. Hey, where are you going? I told you to knit. <laughs> It's supposed to be knitting. What do you mean you can't knit? You're, like in a, you can't knit in this chair? Is that a problem? Are you too close to the door or something? Wait, where did all my knitting projects go? Oh, there we go. Resume. What? How do I reset the chair? I remember I've had this bug before, but I don't... Okay. Apparently we can't knit now. Can I knit in this chair? Is it just the chair? Let's try down here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can't knit in that rocking chair for some reason. I don't know why, but whatever. All right. <laughs> Reginald is just queued up to do all these upgrades. You can do it, buddy. Hello? Who are you? Magdalena. Do I know you? Does Reginald know you? No, you're just a ran literally a random person. I'm okay. You may leave. There's no one home. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. There's no one home. <laughs> all, the, all the lights are out. Quick, hide! <laughs> cool, I finished the socks. Dude, keep it down. There's something out there. All right, resume the whatever that was as well. Let's do another sweater, maybe. Let's do the... Yellow and blue. Oh, we can get a children's sweater. Yeah, let's do that. So then when that kid grows up. I'm going to add some of these things to the wardrobe just so we have them unlocked too. How's Reginald going? He's under the sink now. I spent a bunch of time upgrading the toilet, so that should be good. There's a few more things still to do, but you know, I just really want that. I, th I think I'm hoping it's level seven because we're nearly there. Come on. Okay, I've upgraded. N decorations. Oh, is that it? Dang it. Must be level eight. <laughs> uh oh, baby alert, baby alert. 
Okay, I take care. I take guess. I try. Oh yeah, we can, we can probably turn the lights back on in this house. What are lights? This room. Living room can just be turned on. <laughs> there we go. Get some light. You know, this is a pretty good bedroom. It's a pretty nice view, isn't it? Look at that. How's the little baby? You all good? I think so. Right, back to work. Upgrade. All right, go to the toilet. <laughs> yeah, you can go to the toilet and go to sleep. Kevin, you got to keep knitting, unfortunately. I'm, sure, I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do about it. Wait, what did that say? I'm expected at work the next shift. Okay, that's fine. Are they just sick again, by the way? Why am I still sick? Didn't I just have medicine? Oh, the baby. Dang, that Craigslist guy. Hang on, where's my... Oh, I'm still not used to this phone menu. Where's the... This one? Biz no. I always go to the dollar sign to buy stuff, but it's this one. The other dollar sign. <laughs> Yummy! Give me that sweet, sweet nectar. I like how Reginald just completely ignores it. He's like, nah, I'm not getting up for that. Why are you crying? What do you want? <laughs> Didn't I just feed you already? No, you're not hungry. Okay. Talk and... Yeah, this baby's really not liking me. It keeps giving me negative interaction. <laughs> yeah, let's get some leftovers and then I gotta go to bed. All right, there we go. Hitting the hay. And you know what? I think I'm gonna hit the hay too on this episode. I might wait till daytime though, just cause it's a little dark and it might be nice to see the progress we made. Okay, it's like a really cloudy day. So <laughs> I can just go to build mode then. I guess I could have done earlier. You know, our little house by the good old pier has really come a long way. I do think though, if we're gonna have a second baby, we might just need to move maybe to a bigger lot because the, 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 the lot is pretty small and it kind of limits what we can do because I would like to have a nice big backyard and have like a lot of stuff for the kids and family. Could be a lot of fun. But let me know in the comments down below. Hope you enjoyed this part. I know a lot of it was building, but there was a lot of building to do. Uh, and we will enjoy it for the next few episodes at least as little Addison grows up. We will, we will knit a dang onesie though. We're going to do it. I'm not going to age that baby up until it's got a onesie. <laughs> Till then, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time and have an awesome day.